Samsung has earned quite a bit of success with the Galaxy M series, which it launched earlier this year. This includes the Galaxy M10, M20, M30 and the M40. But the company isn't stopping there, as it has launched the all-new Galaxy M30s. Only phone in its range that comes with a massive 6000 mAh battery and it is claimed to have a 2-day battery life. So, is this phone worth it? Let's find out. Taking over from the Galaxy M30 launched earlier this year, the new M30s pushes the boundaries by offering an even bigger battery. The design however feels very similar, with a glossy polycarbonate back and a super AMOLED display with a tiny notch, what Samsung likes to call Infinity U. Now it doesn't feel that hefty though, even with that chunky 6000mAh battery. That's probably because of the lighter plastic build, but that isn't going to be as premium, durable or as scratch free as glass. You do get new colors though and the camera module, while still has 3 cameras, gets a redesign for the sake of differentiating the M30s from the M30. It's a more rectangular piece holding the 3 cameras in place with the LED flash. You can also see a physical fingerprint reader at the back. Now the smartphone also gets a USB Type-C port on the bottom and a 3.5 headphone jack as well. There's a single speaker grill at the bottom and the company has included a triple card slot which can hold two nano SIM cards and a micro SD card for memory expansion. The display is the same 6.4 inch Full HD Plus Super AMOLED unit that was seen on the Galaxy M30 earlier this year. Apart from the tiny notch, there is a slight chin at the bottom. Now the display itself looks bright and offers good saturation and punchy colors, something that you would expect from a Samsung AMOLED panel. In terms of performance, the handset gets the more powerful Exynos 9611 octa-core processor with up to 6GB of RAM. There is also fast UFS 2.1 standard storage with up to 128GB of capacity. Now the hardware package is pretty capable. We were using the 6GB RAM variant with 128GB of storage and we found the capabilities of the hardware matching the Snapdragon 665. In the few days of usage, I got a fairly smooth experience and didn't notice any major concerns. The smartphone runs on Android 9.0 Pi with one UI which we have seen on a number of Samsung phones in the past. Now, it is a mixed bag with certain appealing elements like the built-in dark mode and a more intuitive single-handed use capability. But what isn't very appealing is the chunk of pre-installed apps. Now, the front camera on this smartphone is a 16 megapixel sensor. There's also a slight wide mode so you can actually capture some more people in your selfies as well. At the back, there's a triple camera setup, which includes a 48 megapixel, an 8 megapixel with an ultra wide lens, 5 megapixel depth sensor as well. Now, moving to the camera, it can capture good looking photos in bright daylight conditions, and using the default 12 megapixel resolution, you can get vibrant looking photos. You can also quickly switch to the wide angle camera to capture wider shots, as pictures lose details and get grainy when shot indoors. You can also shoot 48 megapixel photos, which is hidden under the Pro mode. This high resolution mode can capture good amount of details, but again, this works best when shooting outdoors with proper lighting, especially if you're shooting landscapes. Other notable features on the camera include a dedicated night mode, light focus or bokeh mode, panorama, and Samsung's AR emojis. The front 16 megapixel camera is just about average, capable of shooting decent looking photos in daylight. Of course, you need to disable the beauty mode to get sharper looking selfies. Now, thanks to the large battery, you won't be running for your charger all that much. But Samsung has still included a 15 watt fast charging on the device. Now, the battery is the star feature here. The Galaxy M30s currently is the only phone in its range to offer a massive 6000 mAh battery. The company claims a 2 day battery life without any hiccups. And that's pretty evident when using the device. Heavy usage including gaming, watching videos, listening to music and using the camera managed to pull the battery down to 25% after one and a half days, which is very impressive. In real life usage, one should easily get two days worth of battery life. The only problem here is that the phone supports only 15 watt fast charging, which takes over two hours to fully charge the phone. So should you get the new Samsung Galaxy M30s? Well, we highly recommend this smartphone if you primarily care for battery life and want a decent camera package. Other valuable features include a vivid AMOLED display and decent performance package, although there are better performing phones in the market like the Realme 5 Pro or the Redmi Note 7 Pro.